Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Viewers, do you ever feel like a plastic bag floating in the wind? Do you ever feel like a piece of meat baking in the sun? We're about to find out. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got somebody's attention here. They're after our big meat. Oh. That's a big bird. Oh yes. This is definitely one of the goofiest parts of this game, easily. And that icon above its head that I thought initially was a taco is not, it is us. We are the meat. We have the meats. So there you go. We've now been added to the concoction of dinner. We're in this giant pot of vegetables. Make sure you eat your greens, viewers. We need to give that bird a lesson in stealing produce. Also, oops, a strategic burn, a two strategic burns, a strategic reset. Oops. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again. We're so salty, viewers. Please don't make me redo this cutscene. Can we skip this? Yes. Skip the movie. I do love a good movie, but we're skipping it. It'd be nice if there was a way to long jump over there, but I don't think I can meet the requirements as we sift through this creamy goo. Who doesn't love to dip their vegetables in some nice creamy goo? How do they expect you to get over there? Can you roll the corn? I mean, I've been rolling the corn. Okay. It was letting me roll the corn before, but it was not giving me the, oh, I don't want to unroll the corn. No! Oh boy. Mario. It would be a nice touch if the, uh, when the corn was heated, if it would turn into popped corn. Right, let's go ahead and get the moon and get out of here. This has been a mess. Okay, well that was simple. Right? Bon appetit. Big pot on the volcano. Love some big pot. Plenty to share with everyone. Oh. Okay, maybe not. He's trying to blow us away. Mario looks like he's had too much of that big pot. Oh, that is so much goo. That's what sometimes just happens after you have a good meal. I mean, that's the last we ever saw of Mario. Climb up the cascading magma. Viewers, you'll never guess what we're doing today. You thought it was gonna be that easy, huh, didn't you? One angry volcano. Okay, well, viewers, it turns out that, uh, yeah, we kinda gotta do all this crap again. So, this part of the kingdom is a little different. Um, Okay, doing great. Wonderful start to this video. On all counts. We have to get all the way back up there and show that big old bird brain a lesson. Oh, I don't like this. Cannot see very well. I remember once I was playing um, Mario 64 with some friends, and they did not grow up with the game, and they did not understand the concept of wall jumps. So I showed it to them, showed my my prowess, my expertise, and they still didn't really care for it. So anyway, that's fine. All right, looks like we have a new gimmick here. Once I can find a goober to help me out, there, there, there they are. There they are. Where am I from? Stay away from me. I'm low on health, leave me alone. Okay, so this is a gimmick we will be using later. As you can see, there is some stuff here now that there wasn't previously. We can fire away. Whee! Land in the goo. Expertly timed. There's a fire boy here. Stay away from me. Two fire boys. I do love all the little chef's hats. It's a nice touch. Mwah. Dress the part. All right, so we're just gonna go. No, we're not. Viewers, you knew I was gonna do every little thing that could possibly distract me. 
Oh boy. Ooh, that was very close. I thought I got hit. Let's grab some of these tomatoes. Oh, let's listen. I'll be. I'll shut my mouth for a hot second so you can listen to this jamming tune. Oh yeah. 8-bit overworld music? Yes, please. All right, so now we can corn this cob. Still, once again, don't know why I'm grabbing collectibles because I'm not going to do anything with them. That I know oh, I got free heal out of that. Sweet, because I completely botched this. Wow, that was really difficult for me to do. No. All right, let's uh, let's get this pop. And what is this? This coins? Nope. Actually, pretty useful for once. Yeah, this episode is gonna basically be this. So hopefully you're ready. Okay, there was really no point to that. Looks like we're gonna be dodging some falling logs. Whoa. Whoop. We're gonna try to ascend the summit. Whoa. Okay. Like there's probably got to be something up here, right? This is the one thing that's a little bit annoying about these um, shafts of goo is once they have made themselves stood up, you can't you can't get in them. You gotta wait your turn. Whoop. Nope, that's not the button I made it. Okay, I was trying to do what it said and I hit. ZL instead of L, which is just the control stick. Oops. This episode is going swimmingly. In the lake of Pepto-Bismol. There it is. If you hit the Y button, if you, sorry, if you hold the Y button, you can uh, get, you can get fast. I'm gonna grab a ride on one of these real quick. Zoop. Yes. Nope. Wishful thinking. Now I cannot see a thing. Ooh. I I nailed that though. Did you see that, viewers? Are you proud of me? Okay, never mind. You can rescind your proudness as I mess this up. Yeah, it is really hard to judge distance with these goobers. But I made it. Alcove behind the pillars. This is considered magma. Okay. We're not in the volcano yet. Remember, viewers, magma is the stuff on the inside of the volcano, lava on the outside. Brought to you by Fifth Grade Science. You might even use, sorry, learn that earlier than that. And apparently this is a story moon. We're just handing them out, climbing up the cascading magma. If you keep giving us so many story moons, you're gonna over inflate the value of the normal ones. It's like everybody gets a participation trophy nowadays. Everybody's special, blah, 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 blah. Cook a teal, what a name. Ugh, oh, Nintendo, you've done it again. We gotta roast that bird. All right, we got a little more work to do. Is this charcoal? Oh, is this the place that I think that it is? Oh no, I don't like this part. I remember this. Okay. So this part is not fun, um, as far as I remember. And I just made it exponentially more difficult on myself because as far as I know, um, or maybe not, maybe this doesn't matter yet. It will eventually, but we do, we do, we do, we do need to use these prana plants to um, light those torches as I just land right into it. Oh, that actually worked out, okay. Can I open this? Oh, game, awesome, thanks. Putting a treasure chest out there, that means nothing. It's a lot of coins though. Now we can open up our own business. I've heard that opening a restaurant is actually one of the most difficult things to do. Not to discourage anybody. However, if you are interested in entrepreneurship, uh, I think I read somewhere that said that it takes like, at minimum, three to four years before a restaurant won't just be breaking even if you get to that point. So, oof, that sounds quite difficult. I know that, you know, some people love entrepreneurship and more power to them. So live your dreams, pay your bills. All right, here we go. Needed that, what did you say? What did you say? Careful on those flipping platforms up above. Thanks, bro. 
don't you go fork yourself. All right, here we go. What does this say? Didn't read it. Okay. Um. Are we going the right way? Ooh, this looks like a goo. Oh, this is what he was talking about. This is what he was saying. He was warning us. Is this an alternate route, perhaps? If I can speed this up. Not trying to. Okay, that was just for tomatoes, as the British say. Boy, let me have some of them tomatoes. I think that's how you guys say it, right? Over there in the British Isles. Boop. Ooh, I do love a good green pepper. When I was a kid. Uh, might be an overshare here, viewers, so I apologize. Oop. We'll try that one again. Anyway, as I was saying, when I was a child, big fan of the green pepper. It's pretty popular in Italian cuisine. Grew up eating a lot of that. And um, what I used to do, which I don't see there anything wrong with it, but it does seem a little wasteful, at least in the way that I was having it. Haha, <laughs> collision. I would cut up a green pepper or have someone in my life more dexterous than me because I was a dumb kid and bad with uh, sharp things. Take a green pepper, you cut that bad boy up into however many chunk slices you want. Shreds, I don't know what's the proper like terminology for pepper, 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 Preparation, preparation. So you you cut up your pepper. Your Peter Piper picked a pack of pack of big, 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 big. You cut it up, and then do I need to do this? And then you cover it with Italian dressing. Most of the time, it's the crappy stuff from the store, the store bought stuff. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the store brand. Don't get me wrong. We're all ballers on budgets sometimes. But you cover it in that. Soak it. And then you you just mm, 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 you just eat those green poopers. Okay, viewers. It's time to blast off. Mm-mm. Let's heat up that grub. This bird brain before had it at the right temp, and we're about to heat things up. Okay, so this is a boss fight. <laughs> and we are ruining his meal, as you can see. He is dropping a bunch of garbage. Oh, ew. It's like him. him. Oh, you can't really land in that. It's him like. <laughs> he's barfing into this soup, and, and Cappy's like, This is amazing! He's vomiting! Then Cappy has a vomit fetish. Get out of here, Cappy, you weirdo. So yeah, we gotta dodge the uh, the delectables. I don't know what like the spiky things are supposed to be. And he is gaining on us. That's what happens when you are trying to swim through some cream. Yeah, this is gross. I can't. All right, I'm trying to. Okay, I was trying to dodge that, and I was being very unsuccessful. And I just kind of flew through it. All right. Ooh, that worked. Uh, one more, come on. Yes! Cappy's like, just like that. Ooh! Cappy is loving this creamy fight. Get out of here, Cappy, you weirdo. You need to calm yourself down. We are in a culinary clash. A luncheon debacle. A dinner dilemma. This music is great, by the way. I'll shut up for a second so you can hear it. Oh, we have, we have goose labs. My depth perception is like really horrible. I cannot figure out what I'm doing right here. This does not seem right. Just gotta keep jumping, I guess. It's like I'm laying on his tongue. Give me one more. Oh yeah, right in the noggin. 
Right in the old gobble gobble, baby. Mwah. The final seasoning. The corpse of a bird. We did it, we! That's two multi-moons in one episode, viewers. You are welcome. I don't quite understand the first one that you get just from jumping into the pot as meat. Unless that was like a teaser multi-moon and we don't really get it. I don't know. I wasn't really counting. We've got more than enough to leave, though. I know that. This is when the game is like, you did it. We're cutting you loose. I don't know if that counted. Hello? Hint Toad? Sure. We have a lot of money. We are very wealthy here. Oh, it's like right behind us? You are here. Okay. Is it right behind us? Where are you pointing to? Uh. I don't know. Yeah, Cappy, and I, I'm aware. I need to explore a little bit, though. I don't feel complete. Because I have a lot of time left on the clock. I thought that that... Um, I thought that that fight was going to take a little bit longer. Whoop. Can you melt this cheese? No? Great. Talk about useless. See ya, bye! I like their haircuts, though. I didn't realize that... Fire Bros had such neat hairstyles. I want to borrow a goober as soon as I can and explore a little more. Walk the dinosaur. I don't know how much of this they expect you to be doing here. There's got to be pathways, I'm sure. I'm getting around. Uh, maybe? I feel like if you light torches like these, can you light them with goobers? Okay, so I have to do that again. I think if you do light torches, you get something. What is this? Legend of Zelda, huh? Is that what you think you are? Mario? You wish. All right, let's do that one more time. Can I get to it from over here? I bet I can if I do a jump. If I do a jump dash. Okay, moon acquired. Yeah, the rest of this episode is just going to be... Moon... Oops, excuse me. I was in a cutscene. Is this going to be moon wrap up? Hopefully you're into that. I really don't really... Wow, that was a good sense. I really don't really. I can't even. I'm just trying to see what else is available here in the Luncheon Kingdom. We don't want to get... Too far afield here. Have I been here? Isn't this where I just was a little bit ago? Yes. Okay, so this is where all these jerks were. I solved your problem, and there's no music. Hello? Cooking carnival? Ooh, that sounds fun. Do I have to come back for this? Why can't you just have it now? I'm already here. Hello? Yeah, you sure did. I wonder who helped you out, you bums. Huh. <gasps> Talk to you. Okay. Thanks, I think. You're all welcome. I did it. With no help from any of you. You silverware jerks. Uh, I thought I did this already. I'm pretty sure I did. Alright, game. I'm trying to find things to do. Whoop. How do I get... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to try going back there. I'm. This is me just kind of spitballing viewers. I just like very thinly veiled Italian music. That was probably not composed by an Italian person. Makes me feel like I'm at an Olive Garden, the finest of Italian restaurants. 
Yeah, I don't think I went back here. So we can check this out. Is this a gambling machine? Ooh, this looks like the Toast Arena's gambling areas. Time to get our gamble on. Do so safely, viewers. Play some slots. Yes. Okay. Comes after the heart. Okay. Nailed it. Let's do five. Jeez. What kind of world is this? The cap is a little slow, so you make sure you get it. Okay. Three fifths of the way there, viewers. Okay, and I screwed it up. Oops. I'm a little embarrassed because I was talking a big game and then I uh, couldn't do this basic challenge. Hooray. Oh, now it's all out of sync. No. You got to shoot it a little bit sooner than you'd expect. A little premature. Okay, we're good, viewers. It's fine. I fixed it. I hope. Okay, almost there. I can see the end. Wow, that really actually tricked my brain. I was like, oh, when do I do it? Viewers, I've done it. I did have like a mini panic in my brain. I was like, what if I don't get it? I'm gonna embarrass myself. Don't worry. I'm a gambling pro. Not really. I'm not good at it, and I'm not interested in it. But if you are, enjoy yourself. All right, so can I butt stomp any of these? No, because the game hates having fun. Is this a little area I've never been to? This looks a little... Oop, okay. I think this is where I went before when I was in the new area, but I don't think there's any goobers down here to help. Ugh, game, why would you design it like this? I'm just trying to make progress. You're not helping. There we go. I think I should be able to use the goober to get down there. Is there a spot where I can jump from one to the next? Oh, yeah. Come on. Yes, viewers. Did you see that? I'm going to clip my... Did you see that? That was a clutch maneuver. Could only be performed by a video game professional. Don't try this at home. Okay, so we did go through this little tunnel, I thought. Could I? Can't be. I think we went through this little tunnel last time, maybe. Or not, I don't know. But I know that there was a little bit of an illusion that there may be stuff going on back here by hint showed, so I mean, and if we can find a way to get one of those frying pan boys back here, that would help. Maybe that's what this does. And I don't know if we're actually controlling the trajectory, the trajectory of this. No. Huh? Okay. Just gonna ignore that. That's not important at any point in the game. Yeah, I don't like this area. This is this is very bubbly, very gooey. I think if I touch any of these, I will die. Nope. Just a little boink boink. I'm not hearing any music, which is unsettling. Play some tunes so I can relax. All right, so we took the cannon to get to the goo. Is this how we get back? And does this take me to a place that's more interesting? I want to be on top. Is that all this does? How do I get up there? I saw stuff. I saw one of those pumpkin boys. Viewers, did you see that pumpkin boy? I'm going to get my head back there real quick. Yeah, there's no real way to there's no real way to stop it. I think it's just a one to one. You get you get up, you get up, you get down. There's a tower of goombers. I did see that. All right, so we need to get the heck off of this. So we already did this before, if you remember. I think. Oops. Eh? Eh? Wait. 
viewers. There it is. Get on this. Eventually. Okay, made it. All right. There's a lot more unexplored territory up here. We'll finish it up this way. Because I did see that there was... Do you really need this? I mean, if you're not good at long jumping like Cappy showed you how to do. 169. We're going to eclipse that here in a minute. All right, so there's a free moon up here. So salty. Hopefully that's what this is, or someone's having an extra good meal. Don't snort that. Okay. And I saw... Didn't I see a pumpkin boy? Huh. There's a lot of goombers. Oh, that's why they give that to you. <laughs> oh, viewers! Game design. I tried to be cocky, and it was like, get the H out of here, you be hole Why did it put me down here? Well, that's not cool. I feel like at this point, I'm content with just going back. Whoop. Gotta jump through all this produce first. Oh, there's a rabbit. Ooh, you should be you should be in the pot with, with the with the weird bird. Oh, I'm gonna get you now. I didn't know you were here. My ultimate menace. The nemesis of Mario. Where did you go? What did that say? Then stop moving. Give me your lunch money. Caught hopping at the volcano. Hip hopopotamus. Ooh, wait, is there a bonus down here? Oh, viewers. Getting distracted is the name of this game. Super Mario, get distracted to see. Get distracted to see. You see? Looks like we're collecting moon chips here. We are going to be combat, combating. Oops. Some piranha plants. Oops. Okay, good start. I don't know if it counted any of those. It might make me start over with my 228 lives. No, it did count them. All right, let's take a quick peek. Oh, Mario, you know what? He's like, I've been working in 12 hour days. I'm a very tired at the restaurant. I am the head chef and no one helps me. We need better hiring practices in the Mushroom Kingdom. All right. It's too much greed. You know what, that's BS. Although that was pretty cool. Oh, maybe you can cancel the burn by by doing a quick jump cancel. I just made that up, by the way. That's not a thing. Yeah, maybe if you just do like the quick uh, scuba doo jump and then if you land on the whatever, the PB. Okay, well, I gotta go get that moon now. I was afraid I wasn't gonna have enough content to make the ending of this video cool, but now I do because I'm amazing. Viewers. What do you say to that? Okay, Cappy, you're supposed to save me. You did not. You're a jerk. I didn't even use the technique that I just learned, which may or may not be real. Oh, there is so much goo. You know these little blocks that I'm standing on? You know what these make me think of? Viewers, what's that, D Mike? Um, there's like these. Uh, I don't know where you get them or what they are. But they're like these little wafer square things. I don't know if these are, if I'm thinking of like vanilla wafer things or whatever they are. These little wafer squares that you can break apart. And inside of them is a delicious treat of something. It's like some sort of a cream. Give me the cream. Something like that. Ooh, that feels like I'm being very risky right now. Let's slow it down. Oof. Get the heck out of here. I like that there's, a, there's like a guaranteed two moons. So you know that there's the challenge of the moon right ahead. And then there's the one that's hidden. Magma Swamp, floating and sinking. All right. I feel good about that. That's like 25 moons. I am ready to get the heck out of here. And it healed me too. Nothing heals the soul like a good bowl of chicken noodle soup. Okay, so this is the backside. I think that this is the canon that will take me to the promised land. We'll pay for our meal and get the heck out of here. 
Yeah, I could have sworn that I saw one of those pumpkin boys, but what I might have been seeing was the uh, fork that was judging me. Anyway, that is enough moon collection for this episode. I was afraid that I was going to have to call it early, but now I don't have to because I'm amazing and I found a lot of stuff. Man, if this was not on the Switch, that would not look as bad as it does. 195 $195 for a lunch. Powered up Odyssey. Ooh, ooh. All right, with our bellies full. Next time, we'll be heading to Bowser's Kingdom. Ooh, I don't know about that. We will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.